the political views expressed on this channel and by me are exclusively mine and mine only. Be well. Let's get the show on the road. Time. Timer flip. Seven times. BT system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. You see that, right, Peter? Yeah. What does that say? Tries e food? No, below that. Steam fried grill? Something's not right there. Oh, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> they, someone, doesn't know how to spell. someone doesn't know how to spell. I hope they're not in the sign business. <laughs> it's me, Mikey Pipes. Welcome back. We're going back to a service call. We're going to a service call with that Burnham, that, uh, that Independence, the IN4, I believe, that last week, me and you, Peter, replaced the circulator and the relay on for that basement zone. Mm -hmm. We're going back there because the circulator is leaking. You tighten up the circulator, and it's leaking. Well, circulator is leaking. Do you think it's your leak? Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. We shall see, guys. In case you're wondering what video we're talking about, I'll put a link in this up right there. You can click on that if you like. Where we learned how to ohm out the circulator on a Taco 007. So, before we proceed, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to comment down in the comment section down below, is it, Peter, is it Peter's leak or not? Now, we know if it was Daniel, living true to his name, Daniel leaks a lot, it would definitely be his circulator leak, right? But it's Peter. And I got faith in Peter. You got faith in yourself, Peter? Okay. So comment, and let's get going. We're back. So what do you think, Peter? I think it's the other one. I mean, I kind of have to say that. We're back. Come on in. Come I hear you in. have a leak on a circulator. Yes, I do, sir. He doesn't know that I already diagnosed it. Oh, no? Oh, okay. He came in with two wrenches and just walked back back out. <laughs> And let's see. So, in case you're all wondering, it's that one. Not that one. That one. And that one is leaking because that expansion tank is no good. And if there was a relief valve on it, that would have went first instead of the circulator being sacrificed because it's got too much pressure on this hydronic side of the brace plate heat exchanger caused the gaskets on the motor head to fail and start leaking like a sieve. So now we're going to install a relief valve. First thing we're gonna do, everything is isolated. That's closed, the other valve there is closed. And did you open up that valve right there? This one? Yes. Keep it open? Yeah, unless you want to water spray off all over the place, but it looks like everything is ready to drain down from the leak. Let's take off that expansion tank. Pia is using the Nipix. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you struggle. It's so tight back here. It's tight. Tighter than a virgin's. You know what I mean. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Which way are you trying to go? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, left, so. So is that clockwise or counterclockwise? That's counter. You're trying to go counterclockwise right now, right? Mm hmm Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Yes, I do this. Nope. Um, Would that be to left? I'm thinking. You know what? I'm drawing a blank right now. No. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. If you do that way, you're going to tighten the expansion tank. 
Put your, put your nipix the other way around like you did, and now apply pressure in a clockwise orientation. You did not have your Wheaties this morning. I take that as a no. Would you have a breakfast this morning, Skills? Uh, oh, look at that. You did it. the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh no, China. You know, I heard in the paper on uh, uh, Friday that um, Joe Biden's uh, vice president uh -huh. has a uh, corona. Stinks for her. Yeah. And she's fully vaccinated too, right? And a government official. What does that tell you? It tells you if you vaccinate, you don't, you don't die. <laughs> That's what they tell you. Ugh. All right. What are you going to do next? Uh, should I wait for it to drain or should I just throw the other one in? Throw the new one on. That's the new expansion tank in your hand. So if it was lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. I don't think it's going to thread on. Why not? It just goes right in. Right, oh, take out. Let's see the old one. I'm missing something. It has a... It has a bush. It has a, a bushing on that. Yes. Doesn't it? Mm. Grab that. We need that. Oh. They used a three-quarter T there. See that? Oh, that they used a three-quarter. And expansion tanks for hydronic heat are half inch. So we're not going to reinvent the wheel here. We're going to take that bushing off and put it in the new tank. Oh, I was just about to say, like, if you think you're going to get that off with just, without holding back, you're uh -huh. sadly mistaken. Yeah. You got to hold back. And you hold back with the larger wrench. Good. Okay. All right. Let's see. Well. I don't have to hold up. I know, guys, it's, sometimes it's painful, but the only way of doing is by, only way of learning is by doing. And he's got absolutely no leverage right there whatsoever. None whatsoever. You can see that already. But, fortunately, we have the luxury of time on our hands right now. I'm not really going to sodomize this guy. I would like to. I'm not going to. The homeowner, that is. Unless he wants to get sodomized. You think he's listening to me? Uh, probably not. He's not commenting, so he doesn't hear me. Oh, and I just uploaded the video that we just created on the service call before here. I had to test a Wilkins 950XL double check valve with the Watts TK9A tester. All right, let me know when you give up. Okay? Because I'll... Let's actually... You want to just tell me now? No. I want you to figure it out. Because I've already showed this to you at least once or twice before. You will never... Well, unless you were like, like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Or maybe Vin Diesel. With a rock, maybe then you would get it like that, but you're never gonna get it like that. Alright, then I'll just stop wasting time if you want to. Do it. Yeah. You know, if Kelvin was here, you know what he would do? I don't know. He would Google it. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of Google and loosen something. No? Wanna bet? I mean, I could. Yeah. Okay, what do you think you're doing wrong? Well, no, I'm supposed to hold back with the bigger one. Okay. Let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna put this right there. I'm going to show you. Okay. It is heavy, huh? Mm -hmm. Are we still in the line of sight here? No, but I'll give you a job. Now.
What did I do different? That's the million dollar question. What did I do different? Where it just came off in a matter of seconds. When you figure that out, mm -hmm. you would have learned something new today. Right? Yes. So, you want to go to the videotape or are you going to figure it out? What did I do different? Are you saying the fact that you actually took it out of here? No. Did you notice any difference in the way the two adjustable wrenches that I was using was positioned? I did not. Let's go to the videotape. So let's see. I have to wait for it a little bit. Guys, feel free to fast forward. All right. Oh. So he has one there. And he has another one there. And he's got absolutely no leverage right there whatsoever. Right? Do you see anything different? But look how your two wrenches are. We have the luxury of time. Right? So there's one. Oh, hold on. Let's wait for it. There's one. Are you putting it onto the tank? Right? And there's the other. And you are trying to pull them apart, mm -hmm. right? You're trying to pull the two handles away from each other. Mm -hmm. And what I did was, so what I did, I right? You're trying to pull them apart, right? Is that, a, is that a given? Yeah. Okay, now. So now, let's look at what I did. Now, remember, you were trying to push the two levers of the, each wrench further apart. I'm going closer to one another, mm -hmm. right? And that's the difference. It's all about the leverage. You have more leverage by trying to push them together than to set, push them apart. Okay? Mm -hmm. There you go. And this is one of the reasons why I like to document the work because it's also a great learning example, especially for the younger uh, generation, the apprentices, the helpers, right? Now he knows. Now he knows what he did wrong, and I showed him. And just like I showed you guys. So if you appreciated that little bit of knowledge, thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe. You see how easy that is as you're tightening it? Mm -hmm. When you bring them together, right? And you're tightening them, as, and you're bringing the two wrench um, handles together. Right? I was loosening it and doing the same thing. Yeah. It's all about the position that you're standing in front of it on. All right, throw a little bit more Teflon tape, Blue Monster on the bushing, and we'll put that back on to the tap T. All right, now Peter's gonna take the expansion tank, and we're going to thread it back onto the, the tap T there. And then we're, once he's done with that, we're gonna have to do something with the circulator. Sucks. It sucks that it failed. And then we have to add a relief valve. Because if it ever happens again, the expansion tank fills up, too much pressure in the system, and we'll blow another circulator. And that won't be no that won't be bueno. That'll be no bueno. No bueno aquí. See? 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 It's getting hot in here, so take, take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot, I'm gonna take my clothes off. Sweaty. You don't have a Pipe Doctor shirt? I have a Pipe Doctor shirt already. I just have a second hand. Oh, a second, what does that say? S. Full send. What is that? It's, a, it's just a brand. Oh. Kind of like um, Supreme. A lot less expensive than <laughs> A lot less expensive than Supreme. All right, now. Now that that's in there, I want to show you guys the leak. Oh, to close that valve? Let's see, let's see. There it is. 
Now, I know some YouTube plumbers out there. You know what they would do? Peter, those take the head off. Put a new head on. And we could do that, but if you're gonna buy the farm, it comes with the sheep. Yeah. All right. All right. So we should get the WD-40, spray down the nuts and bolts. All right, and we'll pull out the circulator. Replace it. Coil and the two. Yep. Yep. Hold on. If you're gonna say some funny stuff, <laughs> you gotta like at least get it on video. What's his name? His name is Peter. Peter. Bar <laughs> it's outfitting, huh? It's, it's Tom Holland. <laughs> Look at this guy. He even laughs like him too. <laughs> British accent. Oh, there you go. He's adopted. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. How's that, um, Zendaya doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, she's a cool chick, man. She's doing pretty good. Yeah, treat her right, bro. She's been acting and stuff like that. Uh, you know. Get up right here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. They got Tom Holland working. He's yeah. getting alongside Kirk. Look how we got back there, by the way. <laughs> it's like... It's like an eel. <laughs> yeah, he slithered in there like an eel. I think we said the same thing last week, too. Oh, did we? we? <laughs> I think we did. I don't know if we got it on video, though. Yeah. Oh, I think he didn't like that. That's why he broke the other circulator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, is a, she's a gangster. No. I was just joking. It's all right. <laughs> you got a two-for-one special. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, you got side of my swipes. Oh. Not for the same price, though. <laughs> Actually, no, it's two for two. <laughs> it just goes in a little easier. <laughs> it goes in a little easier this time, because now it's, it's yeah. you, you're used to it. Yeah, you know. I think my boy in D-Block, I used a spoon on him. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't even imagine. No, it was from, from TV show. Just Oz? Like, probably. That's what it was. Just to, Oz. Just to, just to loosen it up. <laughs> that's what she said, right? Yeah, that's what she said. Sorry, Peter. Peter doesn't have a girlfriend, though. Ladies, he's single. Oh, is he? Ain't oh. that right, Peter? There we go. Peter, what is your pronoun? Uh, a he. You're a he. Okay, just making sure. So, ladies, and it's ladies, right? Because you, you, you're yes, not, you yes, don't go yes, the other yes. way, right? I'm, okay. I'm normal. You got you. No, oh, you have to be politically correct these days, you know. Uh, criti critical race theory. Hey, and you're in uniform. Ladies love. Oh, yeah, late. And if you can lay the pipe. <laughs> oh, man, you're golden. I think we should call him. You ask him, what do you do for a living? Oh, he's, not, he's not a helper in president. I'm a plumber. I lay pipe every day. Mike, are you calling him Peter the Piper? <laughs> Peter the Piper. Peter the Piper. Well, we he dropped we dropped the name Pan from his from his name. Oh yeah, and now it's Peter. Yeah, but we need a good nickname for the, Peter though. Yeah, the green tights is just especially if you go in the East Village, it's just it just, it just hits differently, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well, Peter is diligently removing the electric. Yeah, that sounds like Peter Pan over Tinkerbell. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be called. You Tinker don't want Bell. Tinkerbell. No. But imagine, imagine Godzilla back there. That's what my coach used to call me in high school. Tinkerbell. It was horrible. <laughs> coach, were you an altar boy too? Nah. No, no. <laughs> Change religions. You know, Peter was, Peter was an altar boy though. Oh, was, was he? Yeah. yeah, and his brother Daniel. He's, he's and how about your younger brother? Mm -hmm. And your older brother? Yeah. And your all, sister? We, we all went to the same school. Not my sister. Your sister? No, they, they don't alter girls, do they? Girls. Are you, are girls you guys can't still, still in the faith? Or did you yeah. change religions? Okay. Cool. I guess they didn't get, uh, he didn't tap out. No. <laughs> <That's a> <laughs> <Bob> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have, a, I have a joke. Someone told me a, jo a joke the other day. Let's see if I can remember how it goes. There's a rabbi and a priest walking by is this a young... On, is this going on YouTube? Because you got me, they'll cancel your ass. <laughs> you're right. So there's a, okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching at home with young kids... Right? Uh, close your ears. Right? There's a rabbi and a priest walking by in a park, mm -hmm. and they see a young boy sitting on a park bench. Mm -hmm. And the priest goes up to the rabbi and says, listen, let's fuck him. And the, and the rabbi goes, out of what? Out of what? Peter, because he's a joke. Right? Yeah. <laughs> It just goes, you know, you, you can say it. It's like if I was black, I could probably make black jokes. Oh, I thought, wait. I'm not black. I make black jokes. I'm not black. You don't? Is that okay? You look dark skin. You're light skinned. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But I'm still, they, they consider I'm still colored. So yeah. I'm okay with it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I get, I get a We should hook up with AOC. No, I'm, I'm 
Yeah. You know what? A lot of. I'll give it a dollar. You give it a dollar. I will. I will. I would like to. Oh, I can't say that. No. I was gonna you reference like a hand truck, yeah. and. Um, Where's this going? Yeah, you could use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing around. This is all. This is for now. This part of the segment is for entertainment purposes only. Gotcha. We do not. There's no. This is all for just fun and games. Oh yeah. AOC. We'll, we'll, we'll a, lo a lot of a lot of the uh, millennials yeah. find her. You know, males. You know, if they identify as a male, yeah. they actually find her attractive. She's not. Hideous. I find her absolutely hideous. It's her personality makes her hideous. That's yeah. what it is. You know? She's not the worst. She's a bartender. Yeah, that's exactly. She Who got lucky? Majored in economics. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Is she really? Yeah, that was her, that was her oh. major in school. Yeah. yeah. That's why I love Team Red. Yeah. Milwaukee Tools. Oh. Along with <laughs> <laughs> Let's Go Bosch. <laughs> All right. Peter's got the new Taiko 007E. ECM high efficiency circulator. What do you see there? You have cocky? Uh, just the old rings. Okay. Very nice. And he's going to bolt on the new circulator. Hey, Peter, what made, what made you want to go into plumbing? Uh, my brother. His brother. Yeah. <clears throat> Someone's at my front door. You got a ring? Yeah. Do you like it? The dogs don't like it. They bark, and even if like that that chime is on TV. Yeah. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> you gotta. I gotta bring her outside. Which show her there's no one at the front door. What kind of dog is it? Oh, uh, that one's a mini golden doodle. Well, they're both mini golden doodles. Oh, so you got some like uh, guard dogs, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real Designer hybrid. <laughs> Designer hybrid attack dogs. <laughs> you made them on an app. <laughs> like an NFT. <laughs> Oh, you're going to pay me in Ethereum today? Oh, well, yeah. No, Bitcoin. You no, I, I'll, I'll take Ethereum with Bitcoin today. You, this is crazy. La last week, good thing I didn't take it from you last week. Last week was at, what, 3,100? Now it's at 2,600. Ethereum. Down. Yeah. So if you give me Ethereum now, I'll be. I'll, I'll take Ethereum. What's Bitcoin? Bitcoin's like hovering. Let's 36? look it up. 36? I got, I'm holding the pipe, though. Yeah, yeah. Are you all right over there? Yeah, I'm putting these uh, bolts in the right way. Okay. Then. You're putting them in the right way? Oh, yeah, that was a question. Oh, you should know that by now. It's just sometimes I put... I put them in correctly. No, you're ready at the wrong way. Yeah, this is where it holds, right? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Before we get started, how's everything been? Eh, you know, I'm still married, so pretty shady. Huh? You know what they say. <laughs> secret to a happy marriage remains a secret. Huh? That, um, that, that doesn't help me at all. Do you smoke? No. You sure? No. You should. You're not sure. I mean, I occasionally have, like, a cigarette or, or like, a joint. There you go. Or crack. Yes, yes, of course. There you go. Okay, yes. Do you drink? No. Are you sure? I, I mean, like, at, like, casually, like, at a party or a wedding or something like that. No. Or, like, my house. Alone. Who is this? Every night. Diego. What do you drink? Just, like, a glass of wine at dinner. Okay. That's healthy. And then a shot of tequila. <laughs> and then another shot. Hopefully some Don Julio. And then some more. And then I usually pass out. And I wake up. And I take a few more. It's like me. I think so you the answer is yes. Yeah, I drink. I don't take any drugs? <laughs> no. Are you sure? No. I mean, like, I'll, I'll occasionally I'll smoke a little weed right there. Like, I'll do a little blow at a party. Like, nothing crazy. Blow yes, or no. yes, I take drugs. Any prescription pills or over-the-counter medicine? No. Are you sure? You sure? I mean, like, I take like, a Motrin, stuff like that. This is awesome. Um, every time I wake up. This on YouTube? Me. Why? Oh, they're going to probably strike me. give me a headache. So the answer is yes. Yes. Diego, are you a stressed person? No, no, not at all. How's your wife? Okay, I'm stressed. <laughs> you sexual activity? No. Are you sure? I mean, like, occasionally, like, on our anniversary, stuff like that. And this activity is with your wife? <laughs> well, whoever you're having sex with, um, are you using protection? I, I don't like guns. <laughs> uh, yes. Are you sure? I mean, there are exceptions. How many exceptions? I can't remember. Why can't you remember? Because I drink. Why do you drink? Because I'm stressed. And what do you do when you're stressed? Prescription drugs. <laughs> what causes the stress? My life. <sighs> well, Diego, if it isn't obvious already, I'd say the source of the problem is pretty apparent. Yeah, I know. I agree. Obviously, the biggest problem in your life is that I don't drink enough. <laughs> All right, so today you can pay me in, uh, you can pay me in Ethereum if you want. We're at 2826. Dang. If you want to give me a Bitcoin too, it's a thirty-eight seventy. Oh wow! Oh, no, thirty-eight seven, thirty-eight seven, thirty-eight. 
38.8. You heard, you heard the story. This guy had like 70 million in Bitcoin and a password protected. Oh, yeah. He had 10 right. tries to get it and he, he fucked, effed up. Yeah. He has, he has like one. You, you watch Power? Yes. Is you, are you caught up to date? Oh, I, I just saw the... I just saw the... Um... Not Power. Bi uh, billions. No. On uh, Showtime? No. I Show Billions? That. No, I, I know about it, though. So you gotta watch Billions. Oh, okay. I saw Power though the first. Uh, yeah, Power with the yeah 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 with Tommy and the yeah, yeah. and the and the, I didn't see the, the drug other, dealers. Yeah, I didn't see the other one. The drug dealers try to like yeah. yeah. I like Billions though. Oh, Billions. Billions is like you know because the, they're in the stock market. They're they're in the they're money guys. Gotcha. You know, and they uh, they. You know. Was it on? Showtime. Showtime. Okay. Yeah. So the original main character. Uh, Bobby Axelrod, which is the main, which is the old main character from Homeland. Remember that guy? I forgot his, what his name. He's got the red hair. Um, I know um, that guy. I forgot his name, but he is no longer on the show, and a new guy is. His name is Mike Prince. The, but the, the, that guy was he was locked up, and he met um, uh, Paul G Giamant um, in prison. Saved them, came out. Is that is that the same show or that's no? Like, oh, I never mind. That's no, Billions is a crazy show. It's oh, on Showtime. It's nice. Okay. Yeah. So, like right now on Billions, you know, there's I think it was the last episode or the last two episodes ago, where you know the FBI or whatever the uh, the state attorney general's office, you know, confiscated ten cold storage devices, and there's ten tries to get you know to, yeah. and they're playing a game of like a bluff, like will he will he uh, unlock them. Or will he lose whatever's on there? And sure enough, he loses all that's on there, and to the tune of like three and a half billion uh, billion dollars of crypto. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> what do you think about? What's your thoughts on crypto? You think the money's already been made? Like I th I think that we, if you follow the historically over the last I don't know ten plus years, yeah. you'll see that right now we're in a dip and it's going to go back. And I think so Bitcoin think will probably settle probably. Maybe in the eighty thousand dollar range in the next year or two. You know, someone who's watching this is gonna write that down. It's fine. Yeah, I don't care. I have another channel called uh, Crypto Plumber. No way. Yeah. <laughs> when I was heavy, when I was mining, I was mining. Oh yeah. Yeah, with ASIC miners, I had like fifty something ASIC miners, and it was stupid. So what happened? Did you sold it? The no, new equipment, new hardware came out, so this kind of became like obsolete or not that efficient, and I was it was costing me more in electric to actual mine. And then the price of the big of of uh, Bitcoin went down. You know, I was mining Sia, I was mining Doge, I was mining Bitcoin, Ethereum. I had GPU miners, and there's a channel, and it's still out there called Crypto Plumber, and uh, it's you'll recognize the voice, it's still there. And um, so I think Ethereum will probably in the next decade. I think it'll probably be a hundred thousand dollar range. Oh, wow. Um, you, in the near future, 10, 10,000 a, a, a token. You're not, you're not worried that the regulations are going to just like kill the value of it? I am concerned everyone, with that, but the good thing about cryptocurrencies is, is it's, de, de, it's deregulated. You know, it's an open, open ledger, basically. You know, there's no, you can't hide anything. Yeah. Right? But it's all anonymous. Like, you know, the wallet ID is yours, but no one knows that what that is. Unless you're dealing with like Coinbase, for example, Coinbase is regulated in the United States. You know, it's it's crazy. But when you when you sell anything on Coinbase, they report that to the IRS if you're a U.S. citizen. If you know, like, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not, I, hypothetically, let's say you know, Doge is at goes back goes up to a dollar, or maybe a couple dollars. I will hypothetically retire outside the United States and I'll renounce my citizenship. Kind of like that guy Sergey Brin from uh, Google, he renounced his citizenship, cashed out in Asia, and and got his billions that way, right? He's chilling. Yeah, and he's chilling, and good luck extra, uh, extra um, extraditing him. Well, what's going on right now is that um, the accounting for for cryptocurrency is crazy. Yeah, because there's it's oh, so where are you going? You got to do electric. Yeah, I just need a CG to do it. So everyone's hitting fast beat and trying to you know figure out what to do, and it's like, um, well, you figure what your cost basis is. That's what it is, though. But yeah. it's not that simple. So what if it jumps up, though? Well, so, uh, listen. If I buy something at a dollar yeah. and I sell it for a thousand, right? My co my cost base is a no, dollar. What if it's not? What, no, that's what I'm saying. You're not selling it, though. You're just holding on. Then what? Well, then I, I, I'm not. So, I'm so not. There's, there's no liability. No tax liability so on that. So you just leave it at cost. Why would I? Why would I change? Why would I change it? No. Well, that's the thing. So then, what if it? What if it drops? 
then you do you want to take the loss? So you see, it's, so you want, it's, it's same thing like stock market. It's, it's if, if I buy, if, if I if I sell out, I say I sell out my portfolio and I and I and I net a million dollars, but it costs me a hundred thousand, right? Depending on the short or long term gains. No, but you but you sold it then. No, let's, I'm hypothetically. I'm, oh, I don't. No, I'm, I'm saying, really, but, no, no, but if you did, right? If, if I did at a loss, I'm taking a loss. Yeah, but then it's realized. Yes. Because you did sell it. Yeah. yeah. But you see, so on investments, right? There's um, realized and unrealized gains. Correct. Term and stuff like yes. that. Yes. On these, what is this? Client that I, client that I have uses Gemini. And the, the reporting, the statements on it is horrible. It's like, really? Yeah. So it's like, which is realized? What's not realized? What, what what am I doing? So what I'm what I'm doing? Okay. So realize is when you sell. Correct. Right? Unrealize is, is yeah. Is to hold the asset, but it's your your portfolio of value. Correct. So I'm just doing it at cost. Yeah. Like what, what I did was so like right now my net my Netflix unrealized uh, loss is like a hundred thousand dollars. It went down. Netflix. Netflix went down like almost fifty percent last week. Why? Because they 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 showed a loss. Oh, on it's the, like Amazon. On their earnings, okay. Yeah. I don't know if they showed a loss, but they, no, no, I don't know if they showed a loss, but they showed less than and anticipated it, you know, su you. subscription yeah. gain. And I think there's, there's a yeah. lot of uh, competition out there. You have Hulu, you have Peacock, you have Universal, Disney, yeah. you know, whatever. But unrealized, unless you sell it, it's not a realized gain or, or loss. Yeah, so um, the Blue Party, they're trying to tax unrealized then yeah, then how, yeah how do you do that because yeah, yeah, that, that's if they're forcing you to sell no, or an asset or or come up with the cash to pay for something an unrealized yeah. gain but which no that's, that's, that's not democracy well someone that becomes a communist state well someone needs to pay the bill that they spent all this money well oh, what do they spend like 20 trillion dollars so far so how are you gonna get that back you know and the reason and i just you know what i was driving around today and i didn't know i didn't notice this last week i think it happened over the weekend the average gallon price of diesel right now mm -hmm. on Long Island, mm -hmm. six dollars and fifty cents a gallon. Last week, I had two twenty, a five twenty five, five forty, something like that. Today, I'm driving. We drove, we, were, we were in North Belmore. We went to Hewlett. We're here and there. I'm seeing six fifty a gallon of diesel, and people are wondering why we have inflation, why things are are, are a lot more in the, to buy in the stores. Look at what it's costing to ship that stuff. Yeah, but think, guess what? That gas, that diesel that they're selling you now. They oh, got, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's not in the price yet. They got that last month. Yeah. <laughs> I got a, I, I, um, one of my clients thinks is a broker play. She she does um, um, oil and gas. Okay. And the cost is ridiculous and there's no reason for it. She's just like, you know, like diesel was up like $1.13 for her. There is no reason for it. So she's like, well, yeah. and like you said, like, you saw it from last week to now, right? But that, they didn't get a delivery just now. That, that was from uh -huh. last month. Yeah, I don't get it. You know, like I, uh. Some several of the positions that I have are in the, are in energy. Okay. So like oil, for example, there's one called Oxy, okay. Occidental Petroleum Co uh, Company, wherever it is. I bought uh, May of 2020 uh -huh. or April 2020 at the dip when the Dow was like 18,000. Okay. Um, and I believe it was like nine or eleven dollars a share for Oxy. Yeah. Right. I sold half my position at 62. Are you kidding? See? 62. I sold half. And when I buy something, I buy ten or twenty thousand dollars worth at a time. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> but you bought a little too, so you, you yes. Yeah. And I sold half. And it's and you know what? It's at fifty seven. So, so high. So so you're gonna say thank you, Putin? <laughs> no, I think that's he's what, he's crazy. That's what they're doing. He's nuts. He's really he's a nut job. Do you know somebody that could take him out? You should make a call, Mike. All right, call. You know what? So, I have a lot of followers on on, on YouTube. I'm yeah. sure there's someone here from <laughs> some some uh, Eastern Bloc country in in Europe that uh, probably on Greenpoint or Brooklyn. Or <laughs> do you service in Brooklyn? Little Odessa. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I go to Little Odessa in Brooklyn. Yeah, no weird Italians, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is you okay over there, Peter? Yep, excellent. Just find a place that makes good kielbasa. That's all. All right, I'm sure they know a guy. Yeah, but now he's kielbasa. You know he. Uh, I'm getting hungry now. Yeah. Well, Not because you mentioned kibasa. Oh. I don't want kibasa in my mouth. I'd rather put the big black thing in my mouth. Oh. Well, they have, they have to see that. Oh. Oh. My lung almost choked on. All right, so Peter's finishing up the circulator and the wiring. <clears throat> the only thing we have left to do is install the relief valve. And the question is, where is it going to go? I'm going to probably go somewhere in that line over there. All right. 
There's our relief valve. Getting a T right there. right there and then we'll fill her back up okay I think this one's still closed yes we're gonna have to purge but let's uh let's turn the boiler on and turn on the zone well this is no bueno um, Peter, grab a uh, temperature, I'm sorry, a pressure gauge from another Kalefi. Because this one is stuck on stupid. It thinks it's 45 PSI. That really came out nice when we did this a while ago, over two years ago. Now it would be in Mega Press. Yeah. All right, our new valve is... So our new pressure gauge is in. Let's add. Want to close that? Yeah. Okay. And let's check out our pressure. Okay, what does that say? A little under 10, no? Yeah, it's, it's an 8. It's a little low. It's interesting. Let's open up that. Okay. Now we'll turn power on. And let's raise the thermostat up for the basement zone. And then we'll purge if we have to. Our new relief valve. We'll put a jet plate on that. Expansion tank. Uh, I've seen someone, man. Look at Tom. <laughs> Is he running his math again? Yeah. Kurt, doesn't he look like Tom Holland? This guy. Does he know I'm going to sodomize him again? <laughs> Who's Tom Holland? Look. Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> All right, new circulator is in, new relief valve is in, new expansion tank in, and new pressure gauge on the Kalefi pressure reducing valve. And we have circulation. All I got to do is update my service tag with today's date, which is the 2nd of May, 22. And it's going to be expansion tank, relief valve, circulator. All right. Circulator, relief, expansion tank. 5222. Circulator, relief, expansion tank. And see the red light on there. And the light on the other circulator as well. We're good. This one. This is the one. <laughs> Neo. <laughs> now, hopefully, I don't see you again. All right, have you have you have a month left here, right? I have a feeling our paths are crossed. I'll see you on the other side. Yeah. No, it's not as gruesome as that sounds. I know. Really In Carolinas. Oh, oh, I was talking code. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they, and you had mentioned what would this cost to do it now? Sure. And yes, there, there, is a, there is a price increase, if, like everything else. But another thing is that I use the same kind of press technology on the, what we did on the copper water lines okay. that I do it now for steam. Oh. And I know we got this done by, I don't think, by 1 or 2 o'clock. But imagine if I didn't have to thread all this in manually oh. by hand with wrenches. I just put a machine on it. And, oh, wow. Yeah, even right. faster. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so of course, you know, I have to, I, the price goes up, so the... Oh. The homeowner pays even more. Well, listen, I appreciate that then PEX. You know, oh, you didn't think I knew about PEX. PEX? I didn't use any PEX here. That's why I said I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the good stuff, you know?
I've seen packs on Steam wines, by the way. Uh, no way. Yes way. Well, <laughs> yes way. <laughs> Who are those uh, uh, flippers? You need oh my god! You know, I've seen it before. No way. Oh god. This is the clean out for the treatment board treatment. You left your card. Cause just leave your card where, where it is. Yeah. I'm gonna call you. You don't have a Mikey Pipe sticker though. Oh. Yeah, that's all right. I, did I get, oh, I didn't give you the the special sticker I was gonna give you last time I was here. No, you didn't. I should give you one. You should. Yes. <laughs> All right. So this completes the service call and this video. If you share or if you don't share the same political views as I do, all, it's all good. You know, we can live in peace and harmony with one another. But if you share the same political views as I do, continue watching. But if you don't, it's all good. Be well. God bless. Stay safe. Catch you on the next one. So now we have a moment of silence. <laughs> for all those who actually voted for the knucklehead that's in there right now. And now we play this. <laughs> Peter, I swear, I thought you got lost. No. You find them? Yep. All right, let's give him a gift. Here's a gift for you. And I'm gonna and, and, and go. alienate oh, half of my dude. subscribers, but I know you. Have, we shared a similar views. Look at this beauty. There's a reason why so diesel is $6.50 a gallon right now. Oh yeah. And it's not because of uh, our former president. Let's go, Brandon. Yes. Now. If I made you laugh, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. St. Mike commands thee to subscribe. Now, Mikey Pipes is actually going to get on your, my hands and knees and actually beg you. Please subscribe. If you found this educational or entertaining, forget about political views and beliefs. You know what? The one great thing about America is that we have freedom of speech. And I, unfortunately, in my opinion... Over the last several years, uh, it's, it's becoming different. The country is divided. But at the end of the day, we are all created by God and we are all created equally. Ain't that right? Yep. Right? So it doesn't matter if you take it up the poop chute or you like fish. Right? It doesn't matter if you're pink, orange, gray, black, pink, whatever. And it doesn't matter what your pronoun is, but remember, if you were born with a penis, you're a man. If you're born with a vagina, you're a female. And those are facts, right? God created Adam and God created Eve. And I think all religions believe that, except maybe the Buddhists don't. Yeah, don't yeah don't but thank you so much for watching. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.